going on everyone uh, welcome back to our today's uh, episode today's video um, today we're going to talk about support and resistance and how you can trade support and resistance so support and resistance is very dynamic to be honest um, a lot of people um, trade it like have different ways of, of, of drawing support and resistance different um, techniques different places now I'm gonna teach you how I like to to, sort of, to draw my support and resistance. Like most people, just take a horizontal line, right, and then see where st price stopped, and then just click on the horizontal lines there, and then just see where the price stopped, and then just put lines all over the like this. That's what that's what a lot of people do, right? Now that I don't want to say it doesn't work. But personally, I do not like it, and it makes my chart very, very cluttered. And I don't like some like sometimes the market doesn't even respect these lines. Now, what I like to do is, this is what I like to do. This is how I uh, draw my support and resistance. We just delete this, and how I draw support and resistance now. Who moves the market, right? When you ask yourself, like, what's who's moving the market? It's banks, hedge funds, um, you know, big big money, banks, countries moving money, exchanging currencies, all all all, all type of stuff, right? Now, now, how do you like how do banks like to trade? They they don't like they like psychological psy psy numbers. They like straight numbers. So if you look at the price here, right? When they're busy exchanging AUD to USD, right, they don't like to go, if, as you can see, the price is 0 0.8 thousand here, they don't like to go, oh, we're going to make it um, 0 0.8 thousand and 23. You know, they like psychological psy numbers. They like straight numbers. They, they, they say, okay, we want price to be at 8,000 straight, 0 0.8 thousand straight. Or they want to say we want price to be at seventy seven um, point seven point seventy seven thousand straight. Do you know what I mean? So what happened is then what I like to do is I like my to take my horizontal line right and say okay what do we have here? We have eight thousand right. You can double click, go on coordinations, and then just obviously adjust that to make it eight thousand right there, and then. Now, look what we have here. The market literally went all the way up and tapped into it before it dropped. Now, I know that the banks like to, cha to, to, to um, trade in, in psychological numbers, which means they like straight-ass numbers. They don't like half-ass numbers. They like straight 8,000, 7,000, you know, 6,000. You know, that's how they like it. Now, what I do is I take my horizontal line and find my psychological numbers. We have 8,000 there. Um, then we have, um, let's see, here. seventy-nine is a straight number. Make a horizontal line over there as well. You can see the market came and, and stopped a few times there. Then we can um, do seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. Then we can do seventy-seven. 77 and then we can also do 76 now remember you have to do this on higher time frame so go on the daily go on the daily find your psychological numbers and then put your support and uh, horizontal lines on on these psychological number 76 so now we want 75 right there 75 we we'll see prices stopping in there and we'll see what's going to happen and then 75, then we have 70, um, 74, 74, then we have 73. So now, once I have my chart, my lines on my charts like this, now at least I know, like, for example, if the, mar if the market is not even up there, I don't like to keep my, I like to keep my charts clean. So I like to have two above, two below, middle line, perfect, clean. So now I know that, hey, look, and price has stopped it multiple times. I didn't just take my horizontal line and just put them where, where it stopped, you know, no, no, no. So now I know that the banks likes to, 
obviously trade the price between these prices, right? So now I'm like, okay, if price breaks one line and comes back and retest, I'm gonna take it to that to the next line, right? So this is how you can trade support and resistance. You can see here we have we have a clean break, right? We have a clean break, and it came back and retest this candle, retested the line. No retest, no entry. All right, so you have to always remember. You see how this candle broke? It closed above, came back, retested, still closed above. Third candle, again retested. That's when we enter for a buy. Boom. You can even enter on this candle, but have your stop, slot, your stop loss below. Um, so this is how I like to trade my um, support and resistance, of, of course. Now you have to combine that with market structure from the previous um, video that I've, I've showed you that okay we have a, a, a new higher um, high now, higher than this high. So now most likely we're gonna see a pullback, if not to here, probably to here, before finding a new highs. See, market moves in pattern guys. Market just doesn't just do whatever. Like obviously, the market does whatever it wants to do, but like it moves in patterns and it, it intends to repeat itself. Now this, you do not trade because you can see it just went sideways. It consolidating, and you don't want to trade that. It's terrible. Now, support and resistance. Now, once you have your mark chart, um, your your chart marked up like this on your charts, right? What you can do is now scale down to like smaller time frame. And on smaller time frames, price has a middle number. So like between 75,000 and 76,000, there is 75,500, um, right? So I like to take my uh, ray here and then just put a line right there, exactly at the middle. I like to do it here as well. 74,500 right there. Boom. Now, make these different colors so you know like what is this for and what is that for. Because I have my, my dailies black and then I have my minors, which is the smaller time frame, the medium um, range as um, blue. Now, what I like to do also, you need to remember that price doesn't just stop at a certain price, at the exact price. So what I like to do is take my triangle and just put a box around it, right? And say, okay, when price comes to this range of price, the market doesn't come to a specific number. Like you see here how it wicked all the way, but it never touched the blue line, right? Because the market doesn't just go in like, at the exact point number, you know, it, it comes to that area. This whole area, this whole area price range, I'm gonna keep an eye on. You know what I mean? So like this is why I put my my triangle there. It's because within inside this triangle, if price comes in, okay, I'm looking to see what the market's gonna do. It rejected, it formed a bearish engulfing candle. I'm, I enter for a sell and take it to so take profit one. And if it continues all the way down, take profit too. Very, very simple, guys. So this is support and resistance, and this is how you can trade support and resistance. Um, now, you can also combine that with market structure, like I said. And we know that on higher time frame, that the market has done the impulse move, and now we're just waiting to see a correction before another impulse move. So now, yes, the market is trending down, but it's just a retracement on a bigger uptrend. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. This is support and resistance. This is how you draw them. This is how I draw them, how I like to trade the market because I know the banks do not like to just stop, you know, they like to move the price from a psychological number to another psychological number. So from like 75 to 65, they don't like to do 75.23, you know, they, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, any questions, please let me know and I'll see you guys soon.